So what are you looking at today, whoops? A sun. It looks like a lemon sweet from far away. <laughs> you must never look at the sun through a telescope. You could ruin your eyes. By the way, do you know how the sun was born? That's easy. It was born just like all the other stars. Oh, really? So how were all the other stars born then? Easy, like the sun. <laughs> well, aren't we the smarty pants? No, no, I want the details. The details? Could someone help me? How about we take a closer look at that? I'd rather move further away. I wouldn't want to burn my cutie wootie antennae. The sun is one of the many stars that can be found in the Milky Way. That's to say, our galaxy. And like the other stars in the universe, the sun was born in a nebula made of gas and dust, a mass of material in cloud form. It appeared approximately 5,000 million years ago. That's a long time. But it is just as much time to live. You could say that it's an adult in age. To give you some idea of its size, its diameter is 109 times that of the Earth. So when's its birthday? The cake is going to be 109 times bigger than the Earth's cake. Fantastic! A hyper-giant cake! <laughs> the nebula, where the sun was formed, came without a doubt from the explosion of a supernova. That's to say, a very, very big star that actually died when it exploded. The temperature on the surface of the sun is 4,200 degrees centigrade, but at the core, or its centre, the temperature is 15 million degrees. The energy emitted comes as far as the Earth, where it takes on various forms, heat, light and invisible rays, all of which are at the very heart of photosynthesis. So, what's photosynthesis? It's the process that allows plants to grow, flower and bear fruit, all thanks to the rays sent by the sun. And what about all those spots and ridges on the sun? The ridges are solar storms caused by the intense activity on the sun's surface. As for sun spots, we see them appear and disappear without really knowing what they are. The sun still hasn't revealed all its secrets. So it's still hiding things from us, that cheeky thing. And one day it'll burn itself out completely. Hurry, we have to take advantage while it's still here. No need to panic. The sun won't burn itself out for 5,000 million years. So it's not going to happen overnight, but slowly. So it's all rather like a sci-fi film. Scene one, the sun burns all its hydrogen bit by bit. Scene two, the force of gravity makes the sun's core collapse on itself. Scene three, pressure and temperature increase and the sun becomes a red giant. Scene four, the core collapses again and the sun becomes a white dwarf. End of the story, the sun becomes a mass of ashes, a black dwarf. Well, that's got my appetite going. Let's go and get some ice cream while the sun's still around. See ya, Earthlings. Goodbye, Earthlings. How was the sun born? Like all other stars, it was born in a nebula of gas and dust, which bonded together due to gravity. The sun was born some 5,000 million years ago, and in another 5,000 million years, it'll explode and become a small mass of ashes or a black dwarf.